Hello, welcome to another video. In this particular video, we shall see how to reclassify the asset. For example, let's take you created an asset. By, by mistake you created under the computers, it should be under any other group. So, how to change the, the fixed asset grouping? So, that's a reclassification. So, to do this, You have to go to reclassification. Suppose we created a, in a previous video, we created a fixed asset that is a HP spec on the computers. So let's uh, change the change the asset group for that. Okay, and I want to classify this particular asset and stay under the genset equipment. So a new asset code is created and you have to ask from which date you need to classify. So the date that you previously made a mistake like the date of acquisition, you need to ch change to the reclassification date. So in our case, it was 28 that we did the acquisition. And then we can, okay sorry the voucher series should be acquisition type so so you can see that uh, the reclassification is complete here so let's see how does uh, it shows on the fixed asset part So you can see now we have two asset code one is under the computer another is under the equipment so the one under the computer which was previously created and then we reclassify under the equipment uh, gen set the first one is auto closed let's see let's see the book of this particular asset you can see the the status of the asset is appearing as closed and all the transactions for this particular asset you can see here it is already transferred to the new fixed asset group let's see over there so you can see that this particular new asset has been opened and the transaction have all the transaction that was done under that particular asset like under the computer group been changed and transferred to equipment gen set. So this is how we do it and also you can also see this dimensions are also, are also moved. So in case you make a mistake in uh, acquiring the asset uh, and you can change the fixed asset group uh, in this particular fashion. So thank you so much. In case you have any difficulty, please do contact. Thank you.